your skin, Big Bandage. Hey guys, it's Pretty Progress 23, aka Elizabeth here. Welcome back to the Acne channel. Today's video is going to be about how we can prevent breakouts when we're traveling. As some of you guys know from my Instagram update, I've recently traveled to Malaysia and from Malaysia to Australia it's about 8 hours, which is quite a long flight. And during that flight I felt really icky and really oily and I knew that my face was going to break out. And then during my Malaysia trip, my diet was changed, the weather, the air was different, so it was really hard for my body to adjust to everything. So my skin started flaring up a little bit. However, upon research during my trip, I was able to manage my little flare-ups. And now I'm going to share those tips with you guys. I have 10 top tips and go-to products that I would love to share with you guys so you can be prepared for the travels ahead. Let's get cracking. Tip number one. You must keep hydrated both inside and outside. What you need to do is have hydrating fruits such as watermelon. And yes, I am wearing a watermelon top to kind of visually remind you that watermelon is great to hydrate your skin. And apples and cucumber, that's not a fruit, that's a vegetable. Wait, is it? It has seeds. I always get confused, it's like, is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I don't know. But yeah, so keeping hydrated with lots and lots of water as well. Drinking at least one liter of water every single day. In terms of products for the face, what I recommend is doing sheet masks or having a spritz to spray your face. Water does help you hydrate your skin, but having that extra help for using products is really beneficial. So, I get a lot of questions asking me what type of like hydrating mask you will use. So there's a difference between hydrating masks and drying masks, such as the clay mask. But I'm going to talk about the hydrating mask for now. So these, these are the masks that I have. It's Korean brand and basically they're from Etude House, so E-T-U-D House. And I got these for my friends when she traveled to um, Korea and I've been using them, I've been loving them. I use this whenever my skin feels really, really dehydrated. So each one of these masks have different extracts in them, which are pretty natural. So this one has pomegranate. This one has um, olives. And I had cucumber ones as well. And the rest, you know, it says lifting and skin radiance. So it just gives that skin a constant hydration when you're on the plane. And I know some of you guys, you know, you know, in the same boat as me, I get really embarrassed like putting on a face mask on while everyone is like next to me. But once you get used to it, just you'll feel at ease. Just put it on and tell yourself, you know what? You're never going to see these people on the plane ever again. So it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what they say because you are doing what's good for your skin. You are doing what makes you feel good. So who cares, right? So those are my, my favorite masks for hydrating the skin. If you don't want to use a hydrating mask, you can use sprays. So basically my favorite, number one, hands down best spray of all time is definitely the Banish Beauty Alexa Vitamin C Spray. So basically you can spray this whenever and wherever you are. Like I'm gonna spray it now because it's not so good. And it just really gives that lift to your, your, your face. I don't look tired when I spray this on, I keep hydrated. And basically it has all these natural ingredients. So distilled water, aloe vera juice, citrus extract to keep you awake, the essential oil of tea tree oil to help repair the skin. Now I ran out of this, this is like my third bottle, so I didn't have this on hand when I was traveling to Malaysia. I actually went out to the chemist and bought the Avene Thermal Spring Water Spray. Now I think this costed me $10 for this little thing, and no actually, I think it was $4 Australian dollars, I can't remember, but some people asked me like what do you think of buying water in a can? Mm, is it worth it? For me, if I was to answer that question, I say 100%. It makes me feel alive, um, living my life with a clean, hydrated face, and that really helps prevent an overdrive of oil. Basically, when you're traveling, the long hours of traveling under aircon and like low humidity causes the skin to 
go into like an overdrive of oil production. It stresses out your skin and your skin's like, why is my skin so dry? I want to produce more oil, more oil. And that oil gets clogged with all the debris and all the dirt on your face and then you get acne. So that's why it's you know, spraying your face with water, thermal water especially, or the vitamin C Beauty Lex really helps keep that skin renewed and hydrated so your body is like, hey, my skin is hydrated, I don't really need to overproduce sebum on my face. Tip number two is make sure you have your neck pillow. Honestly, I underestimated the importance of a neck pillow. So during my flight to Malaysia, I didn't have my neck pillow because I am an idiot. I'm just really, really forgetful. But when you have enough sleep, adequate sleep, your skin is more likely to repair itself. If you're struggling to sleep, especially when there's no neck pillow, you start to stress out, you start to feel annoyed and frustrated. And I was experiencing back problems, neck problems, stress problems, or everything, you name it. And I knew that my face felt really oily as well because of the stress hormones. So definitely bring your neck pillow. I actually bought another neck pillow on my way back from Malaysia to Sydney and it was a lifesaver. So sleep is important, neck pillows are crucial. Tip number three, when you're on the flight, you are most likely going to order really unhealthy foods. So because I was on Air Asia. I was given curries and rice and fried foods and that just gave me like digestive problems. It made me feel a bit icky and I just wasn't given the energy. I felt like my mouth was drying up because I didn't have a balance of salt and sugar or something. I don't know what it was but I was deprived of salt but I was also deprived of water. It was like a vicious cycle. So make sure before you hop on your, your flight you have prepared snacks. So chop up some carrots or celery. You can, if you can't take it onto your flight, then you go onto those, go into those little stores, the convenience stores, and they actually have like chopped up fruit in the corner, in the little fridges. I've seen it everywhere. So invest in healthy snacks. That way, your body isn't like begging you for good foods. Tip number four is wear light mineral makeup that allows your skin to breathe. If you're somebody who wears makeup on flights or even during your travels, make sure you have something that doesn't make you break out. Personally, I use the Be Curity makeup line. I'll show you. The Be Curity makeup line, and sometimes when I want to conceal the redness of my cheeks, then I use the Trio Color Corrector. So basically, the main ones that I use here go. The main ones that I use is the green one because it cancels out the redness. So I personally love this. The I don't use this one as much, the, the peachy color, because I don't I don't know where I, I would put the peachy color. But the light cream, I put it under my eyes so I can look wide awake. But the thing is, to be honest, I've only worn makeup like twice on that trip. I don't really, because I was very comfortable in my own skin. And I really, really hope that you guys can come to that point where you're like, this is my skin, accept it as it is, because this is me. And I'm okay with little red spots, I'm okay with a bit of scarring, I'm okay with this and that. And once you are okay with that, you experience a taste of liberty, and you are on the right track to self-love. I got a bit carried away, a little bit of uh, motivational there. <laughs> But what I was going to say is that makeup line is cruelty free, it's natural and it's so light on my skin but it gives me great coverage so that's something to look into. Another makeup brand I'll probably recommend is Echo Minerals, it's an Australian brand as well. If you're not a mineral powder girl then you can use liquids if you have more dry skin and I'll recommend the Jane Airedale brand. Tip number five is having topical acne treatment. Now, I know a lot of people love, love, love natural skincare, but sometimes the skin just needs a little extra kick with scientific facts. I personally use the benzoyl peroxide 2.5, maximum 5%. Now, I'm gonna tell you the precautions first because I don't want you to use things and react badly. Basically, benzoyl peroxide is a drying topical treatment for acne, and it could give you itchy sensation, redness, 
and it could possibly give you this burning effect if your skin is too sensitive. Personally, I experienced that for the first couple of weeks and then my skin started getting used to it and now it really, really prevents my skin from breaking out. It basically kills all the bacteria on the surface of my skin and kind of renews the cells, giving me a smoother, brighter complexion. So this is the one that I got from the canvas. It's the 5% one or you can use the 2.5 from Acne.org, which I previously mentioned in my past videos. So those acne treatments is just giving me an extra kick with my skincare routine and I find that it really, really helps me. Also, chest acne. I used to get a lot of chest pimples and a lot of back acne and my number one pro tip is to use a toner. So the two toners I would recommend is either the Witch Hazel, which I actually ran out of, or the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Spot Proofing Purifying Toner that I've recently tried out and this is absolutely amazing. I use this and I put it on the cotton pad and I cleanse my neck, my chest and my back and basically it gives me a thorough cleanse. Like Even after a shower and you use this toner and you put on the cotton pad, you can see that there is still like dirt on, like a little bit of dirt on the cotton pad and it's just like a extra step you can do so you know that you're doing a thorough cleanse and basically it gets rid of the, all the dirt, the grime and the excessive oil that has been left on your chest and your back and your body and it just prevents breakouts. I know a lot of you guys use toners on the face but for me personally I don't really like using toners on my face. But I do use them if I know that I'm in an environment where I'm constantly sweating and producing a lot of oil. Tip number six is to moisturize. Moisturizing is so, so important in your skincare routine. Somebody who has really oily skin, like myself, needs moisturizer. Because I used to have this misconception that, no, my face is already oily, I'm not going to moisturize my face because that's just going to make me have more oil. But that's like a myth. Basically, the reason why you have so much oil in your face is because your face is actually dehydrated. And often when I'm at hotels or shopping malls, they blast the aircon or they blast the heater, wherever we are, and both the heater and the aircon really dries out my skin. So make sure you're constantly moisturizing your skin if you know you feel dehydrated. Tip number seven is having your scrubs. Scrubs or even clay masks. So what I really like to do is use the Tribe Skincare Scrub and it's basically in a powder form. So I'll just show you. It smells really good. I use it, I mix it with water in my hand or in a bowl and I scrub it on my face and it really cleanses my face. But please do not over scrub. If the more you over scrub, it's actually damaging the skin cells and it makes the skin more sensitive. So if I was to use a scrub, I would use it twice a week maximum. So if I don't use a scrub, I will use my charcoal clay mask from the Banish. The Banish charcoal mask is absolutely amazing. It cleanses my blackheads, my pores and everything in between, honestly. It brightens up my face. So here it has the green clay, charcoal, allantonian, zinc oxide, vitamin C ester, organic blue-green algae, and DME by Artrate. This is really great because it gives you a thorough clean and it tightens the pores and really takes out all that gunk. Also, my number one tip with clay mask is never leave it on for more than 10 minutes. Because if you leave it long for 10 minutes, you're more likely to create wrinkles on your face and it's actually pulling your skin more than it needs to. So definitely wash it off after 10 minutes. Now, a lot of people mix this with water, but for my personal preference, I mix it with apple cider vinegar. Now, apple cider vinegar does wonders for the skin and the body. I can take a shot of that in the morning mixed with water, or I can just mix it with my clay mask and apply onto my face. What it does, it restores the pH levels in the skin and it cleanses the skin as well due to its um, healing properties. Tip number eight. I'm almost done with my tips, so bear with me. Cleansers. Make sure you use cleansers that are gentle and it doesn't strip the skin of its natural oils. Personally, I used to use 
the Banish cleanser, but I finished that and now they're not even available anymore, unfortunately. So now I've switched on to the Tribe Skincare Balm Cleanser. But I use the Balm Cleanser and it's absolutely amazing. It's just stripped, um, it just um, melts away all the makeup, all the residue of dirt that I have on my skin and it cleanses my face. If you're wearing makeup, again, I've mentioned this previously, I use the Halo Makeup and it does wonders for my skin. Okay, step number nine. This is my second last tip that I absolutely adore. They are pimple stickers. I actually have one on my face right now. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I wear it either overnight or during the day. I honestly walk around the streets and I have pimple stickers on my face and I don't even care. The two pimple stickers that I really love are the COSRX brand. You can buy this at Nudiglo, the online store. So the hydrocolloid in this sucks out all the gunk, especially when you have like those pimples with white pus in it. You stick it on and after like, I don't know, five hours, you take it off and the gunk will come out and it's like, damn, this is powerful stuff. I'll show you what it looks like. So in this COSRX packet, there are 24 patches of different sizes. There we go, we have the smaller sizes and big pimples if you have pussy pimples. I don't recommend putting on cysts because basically you're not letting the cysts breathe and it's more prone to spreading bacteria underneath the skin. Never cover cysts. If you're covering cysts, all you're doing it is increasing and promoting the growth of the bacteria underneath the skin. So that's my number one recommendation. I also love the Averell pimple stickers that I got sent. Now this is pretty damn awesome. This one is 40 individual patches that you can find on Amazon and it's dirt cheap and it's actually really great. This one's a little bit different. This one is made with tea tree and calendula oil and I know that tea tree doesn't really stick well on my skin but because this is like a really like a tiny 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 percentage of tea tree it actually works wonders for my skin so this one's slightly different but I also love it now they have the huge size stickers it's like a square size sticker yeah yeah and basically I never I don't put the whole patch onto my skin because again, it's too much tea tree oil, so I actually cut them up into little pieces into the size of my pimple. Okay. And step number 10 is my last and ultimately most important tip of all time. This is to do with bowel movements. I truly, truly believe that if you have a great digestive system, then you are less likely to experience acne breakouts. When I'm traveling, especially to Asia, I always eat really, really bad foods because the street food there is absolutely divine. It's so delicious. I would eat mee goreng, those fried noodles, fried chicken wings, all sorts of different Asian desserts. And it's just amazing because my taste palettes are just like going on fire. It's like screaming for more and more. And when I do fill my body with bad food, my body pays for it and my skin. So when you are eating bad foods, sometimes you might experience diarrhea or you might experience constipation when you're not going to toilet at all. But you can do things to help your digestive system even when you're eating bad foods. So I highly recommend you taking probiotic tablets or probiotic drinks to help that digestive system, help you kind of break down all the foods and so you can reintroduce that good bacteria back into your body. Like I used to not go to toilet for three days on my trips and, and I was like, I just wanted to cry because I didn't understand why my body wasn't able to digest, wasn't able to kind of break down the foods and release all the toxins out of my body because if I don't go to the toilet, the toxins are trapped into my system and they get released out into my skin and that's why I have cystic acne and clogged pores and all sorts of you know issues with my skin. But after going to the toilet every single day on my Malaysia trip, I was able to manage my breakout. Do bowel exercise, man. like kind of stretch your body, dance, do hip movements, whatever it takes to go to the toilet because it's seriously, seriously vital for your body to release the toxins. 
And that is all I have for today. I hope you really, really enjoyed my video and found this somewhat helpful. I would love to see you guys on my other social media outlets such as my Instagram, my Facebook, my YouTube. You can find me on Pretty Progress 23. I'm going to leave all the information in the bio below and big kisses. I'll see you guys later. Bye.